I just have um, three more questions. I don't want to ask too many because I know that you're wrapping up soon. So the first one is how how does the Bible like talk about women? Because one of the reasons that I kind of really started doubting Islam is the way that Muhammad started uh, treating women. He raped a Jewish slave girl. He um, just terrible things. So I just, yeah, that's my first question. Yeah. So here's um, the Bible is really clear on how you are supposed to treat your wives. In fact, it even says that if a man is mistreating his wife, his prayers won't even be answered. God won't. Even, God will ignore him if he's mistreating his wife. Let's go here. Let's go to uh, Galatians. Let's go to chapter three, verse twenty-five to twenty-eight. And there's also verses in Ephesians. So yeah, let's get these verses out. Colossians three, nineteen. Ephesians five, twenty-five. Okay, and First Peter. One, three. All right, so let's look at these verses here. So we got first Colossians 319. Husbands, love your wives and don't be bitter toward them. So if they even if you fear disobedience, don't beat them, as we see in some scriptures say, like Quran, for example. We got <laughs> uh, we got Ephesians chapter five, verse 25. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her. So the way that Christ loves believers and gave his life, yeah. Husbands are supposed to treat your wives the same way, how Christ our Lord treats us. Yeah, like a sacrificial kind of love. Yeah, yeah. Yep, exactly. This is uh, this is like even just this verse. I know that you have like a couple other verses, but even just this, it's like so refreshing to me. Yeah, it's you know. <laughs> yep. This is uh yes. Yeah, so this how this is how it is, man. The Bible tells us that we are to as husbands as men treat our wives as Christ treats the believers, man. That's that is deep. He gave his life. He died. He bled for us. Now watch this. Galatians chapter three verse twenty eight. There is no Jew or Greek, slave or free, male or female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. There is no difference. There is no hierarchy of male and female in Christ when it comes to salvation, right? As opposed to the certain hadith that Muhammad talks about, where he says that the majority of hell is occupied by women. The one that I really didn't like is when he um, kind of insinuated that women are like donkeys and dogs. They're like donkeys, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So according to Christ, and this is the Apostle Paul writing this, the one who they hate, he's teaching that male and female are one in Christ Jesus. He sees them no different. Sees them the same. <laughs> this is this is really like not overwhelming but really refre refreshing like it's like it's kind of uh, like it's making me realize really how kind of like messed up the hadith and muhammad is like yeah. i don't understand how after like reading this things like i really don't understand like i can't just process in my head how muslims can say that we have to follow muhammad instead of mm -hmm. jesus and what he taught like it's i don't know mm -hmm. so let's yeah it's it's uh it's night and day there's nothing that it compares to the teachings of the holy spirit it's refreshing as you're saying it's relieving you know it's there's nothing like it man nothing compares to to god man uh, first Peter chapter three, verse seven. So this is the apostle Peter writing this. He says, husbands in the same way, live with your wives with an understanding of their weaker nature, yet showing them honor as co-heirs of the grace of life so that your prayers will not be hindered. So what does this mean by weaker, weaker nature? Like obviously they're, you know, men are physically stronger than women. So you're supposed to live with them with this understanding that you have, you're physically stronger than them. So you're supposed to take mm -hmm. care of them in that way. You're supposed to understand this and walk in that understanding. 
And then so even though they're weaker physically, you show them the same honor as co-heirs. You're both heirs in the grace of life. You're both equal. Yeah. When it comes to salvation and the grace that God gives us, you're both the same. No one's higher than the other. No one's weaker or stronger than the other. You are co-heirs. You receive the same honor. And if you treat them otherwise, your prayers will be hindered. Mm. That's deep. Wow, that's, that's how serious yeah. God takes this. That's really crazy. Yeah. It's but, like, yeah. It's yeah. not crazy because that's how women should be treated, but you know. No, yeah, I mean it's, it's common sense. <laughs> This, this, this is how you would expect God to, you know, to, to, to treat and show women, show, show the treatment of women. You know, a lot of people bring up something from Corinthians when Paul says, I don't allow women to speak in church. No. So uh, uh, to, to teach in church, not, not just speak, but to teach, to, oh. to teach. So he's, he's talking, he's going in the, uh, the role of you know the role of leadership in 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 church setting in a service setting there's a there's an order of how things are to be you know to be had but, but i also know that women can be a de de deaconess uh I, I hold on let me see if that's let me see that i don't know exactly what a deaconess is but I mean, yes, a servant basically servant in the in the church and the services um i'm not sure about deaconess i don't think i've seen deaconess before in the bible only only men could be deacons in the church so in the church service it's it's men who who teach right in the church services it's the men who teach it doesn't mean that outside women can't teach because you even have in the Bible, it talks about how women, there were women actually who accompanied even Paul, for example, yeah. in, in spreading the gospel and stuff like that. And they were teaching and stuff. So many, many saints spread the gospel historically were women. Yep, exactly. So uh, this is just talking about the order of a church or mm -hmm. the order of the church. That's all. Okay.